What is going on with you, YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. I said I was going to make a mat and gameplay wish list. Um, it, it just got too much to really, really make it a real good one. But I just gave it a go. Tried to run a couple plays. Tried to break some things down. And I came to one conclusion. And that the game needs to be dynamic. Um, I know that's like very broad. But, I mean, that's what football is. Dynamic, man. Forever changing. No, no two plays look alike. No matter the situation. No matter the time. No two plays look alike. No two quarterbacks <laughs> kneel downs ever, ever look alike. I mean, you got players that take steps this way. Take... Football is dynamic. That, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to ramble on about that. And Madden is about as scripted as you can get. And um, for this generation, man, something has to change. Like this, this has to be. This is what I, this is what I want for Madden. I want a Madden to give me the feeling that NBA 2K11 gave me. And what I mean by that, we all know NBA 2K11 had its problems. NBA 2K12 has its problems. I mean, that game is perf not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. They have gameplay problems and plenty of them. But when you played NBA 2K11, you were like, wow, this is, this is sick. And compared to Madden, it's a perfect game, but on its own, it has its problems. But you, you got a feeling like, man, video games have come a long way. With Madden, this is the, be this is the best you could say in Madden. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> I could play it. <laughs> That's not what I want in a football game. The number one sport in this country should be the number one premier game in this country, uh, sports game, and it's not. So I just want to show you guys a couple of things of what, a couple plays, why this game is scripted and is not dynamic. And after watching these plays, it, it'll, it'll be hard to argue with me. And I think that's the core thing to football. I mean, we need a physics engine. I don't know really how you're going to get dynamic football without one, but if they can, I'm for it. But we need interaction. We need players interacting with each other. We need their limbs interacting. Wide receivers, defensive backs, jostling for the ball. You know what I mean? R kind of putting their arms on each other, running all the way down the field. That little split second Randy Moss push be right before you go up and jump and, and grab the ball. We need so much that I can't even cover the amount of things in this video. Can't even touch on what this game needs to do, but I'm going I'm to just show you a couple things. So let's let's do a little breakdown of, what, of what's going on in this game, man. This game, I'm I'm pretty much gonna go out there on a limb and saying this game is fully scripted. <laughs> and what I mean by scripted is, check this out. Okay, check out my man Demarius Thomas, number eighty-eight. Okay, so he goes into an animation like the ball is going to drop into his arms, like boop, just drop right into his hands. The ball's about three yards over his head. Not only does he go into that animation, he finishes it. He toe taps, he continues. He's holding an imaginary ball right there, okay, and goes to the ground. Now, there is nothing dynamic about this whatsoever. We all know he should have been jostling with the, uh, with the cornerback. He should at least, at the very least, reach his right hand. I mean, he probably wasn't going to get to it. But this right here, th we cannot have this. In this generation of video games, this should not go on. I mean, you know what would happen right here? You know, if he did this, you know what would happen? John Fox would remove him from the game, send him to the locker room, and drug test him. Okay? Because the only way that Demarius Thomas would do is if he was on crack cocaine. That, that's it. That's, on, that's the only explanation that this happens. If this man is on crack cocaine. This is a four-game suspension. This play is that, That's what this play is, a four-game suspension. Honestly, man, I'm not going to even speak to what the cornerback's doing, man. He's completely oblivious to what's going on, man. He, I don't know. Maybe his family's in the stands. I don't know. This is just practice. I don't know. But this play here from Demarius Thomas, man, shows you that this game locks into animations that are not appropriate, which shows the game doesn't have enough animations. I feel there's, there's some, it's either engine related. There has to be something with this game that they, it's been doing this for years. So I, 
I'm figuring that they know it needs to be fixed, but I mean, the engine must have limitations. This generation must have limitations because you cannot keep including this into the game. Let's break the play down further, man. Another thing that really irks me is that your teammates don't interact with each other physically. They don't acknowledge each other on the field because, T first of all, Tebow's looking at Demarius Thomas like, Lord, please help this man. He's on crack cocaine. I'm praying for him because he's, you know, he needs to get right. But look how he just, there's no, I mean, they say there was going to be no slight. And I know it's after the play, but he's just sliding back. And if you remember, man, Vince Wolfork, I mean, he had a game where he was player of the game. I think he might have had one sack because he was continually pushing the offensive lineman back into the quarterback. That cannot happen on this game because the only way to beat the offensive line is a swim move. There is no such thing as a bull rush, no such thing as pressure um, in your face, not the, the defensive player getting to you, but pressure in your face from the pocket collapsing. And check this out, man. If you tell me this game is not scripted, please explain this, man. I should put on, you know that synchronized swimmer music, whatever they dance to when they're in the water? I should put this on because look at the offensive line. They are engaged in the same exact animation at the same exact time with the same post-play. This is, this is inexcusable, in my opinion, for a game in this generation. Now, I don't know, man. There's really not much defense for this, but the, they interact at the exact same time. Their feet are in the same position. They have the same stance. Their hands, everything is exactly the same. This was determined before the ball was hiked. Their ratings, size, nothing matters at this point. Nothing matters. This animation is going to play itself out. And there's really... There's really not much argument for saying this game's not scripted because this, this should not happen. This should never happen. I don't know the probability. I, I sucked at statistics, but I know you would have to multiply something, multiply it by that square, <laughs> and then you get the probability of this actual happening. Like, it, I mean, you have a chance, probably a better chance of hitting the lotto every day of your life than seeing something like this on a football field. All right, let's continue on, man. I'm not going to harp on this. This is minor. This is very minor. We can get, you know, if this was the only problem in Madden, we'd be okay. But I was like, man, let me continue. Check out the rest of the play. 87, man. I, I'm not sure if that is a wall or a laser beam because he just went right through it. I don't know which one it is. But even if it wasn't practice, he would just go through. There's no boundaries. There's just... Ah, oh, this game is not where it should be. Another thing, man, check this route out. Looks fairly innocent, but at this, I mean, he has his back almost completely turned to the receiver. There's really no recovery from this. There, I mean, look, look at it, the positioning. If if you don't, the only way that Eddie Royal could have beat him is if an animation acted out that when he cut to the inside, the other guy slipped or misjudged it. But this defies the laws of physics to be running sideways like this. The only way you can get around going the other way is to slow down or spin your left leg completely and kind of turn. And at that point, you're out of the play, but you cannot get back into the play this way. This is minor. This is not major, but come on, man. It, I mean, this football is not being represented. I mean, clearly not being represented. Now, here's another thing, man. This looks fairly harmless, but... Again, this is a script. I don't know if it's written by Quentin Tarantino. No, it's not written by Quentin Tarantino. Not it's not written by any good filmmaker. This is written. This is like a B-rate movie. Because if you notice, this game is scripted. Look, they are beat the exact same way at the exact time, same time. Three offensive linemen. Because uh, this is the only way. This is here's Madden. Madden, there's no gray area. It's all black and white. Either you're blocking or you're not blocking. There's nobody who's kind of wrestling his way to the quarterback and might get one hand on a quarterback while he's half being blocked. That can't happen because this that that would probably require some type of physics, and that can't happen. So the only way to beat an offensive lineman is in with a swim move. But what's the probability of this? Now my last uh, the last play I said you got to multiply somebody something. But, well, you're going to have to do it three times because it's three offensive linemen. So the probability of this happening is absurd. This is not football. This is not dynamic. This is a scripted, locked-in gameplay that was determined pre-snap. Before the ball was snapped, it was determined that these three dudes were going to break loose. And if this is a game that we have to play, man, I guess – I don't know, man. I'm starting to get discouraged. I don't, my goal is not to tear this game down. 
I just wanted to break down a few plays. It didn't. It didn't take me long at all. It didn't take me long at all to, for this to happen. So this happens. You know, if you don't slow the game down, you may not notice this. But <sighs> come on, man. Come on. All right, you got to be kidding me. Even Tebow, even my man Tebow can't get out of this one. All right, I'm going to show you another example of gameplay that's not dynamic. That's the quarterback's game. You know why? Because offensive linemen don't interact with each other. Your offensive players don't interact with each other. You know what? You can literally run this play. If you run the same play, same defense, same offense, quarterback sneak, and I'm blitzing all the linebackers, you will literally get 18 times out of 20, you will get the same tackle animation. And we know that's not football, man. No two plays look alike. And that's why, you know what, I wasn't super on the, like, we got to have physics bandwagon, but I'm getting there because that's what football is, man. New two plays look alike, and the only way I accomplish that is with physics. But look how many times this guy has the same exact tackle. I mean, uh, of course, this looks nothing like a quarterback sneak, but look, that little half tackle because the guy's diving down. I mean, it will literally have, and I switched to the defense. I was like, can I prevent this? What, what if I, you know, what if I pinch the line? Um, it, it will literally happen. I mean, that time it didn't happen, but I, I'm just showing you these plays. I'm not cutting. I'm not chopping anything up. There's no editing. It will literally happen over and over and over. 18 out of 20 times, this will happen. The same with a quarterback sneak when I'm running this defense, and that's that's a scripted play. That plays determined. Before the ball is snapped. I mean, we all know what a quarterback sneak looks like. We all know it's a big scrum mayhem, especially when teams know that what's coming. I mean, it's a fight. It's a fight. It's a trench. Um, the, the offensive linemen are rubbed against each other. The defensive line are in. It's, it looks nothing like this. It look, I mean, uh, quarterback sneaks have looked like this in this game for a long time. And every time I saw it, I was like, these dudes do not understand football. Either that or they just don't care. I, uh, I don't know. It has to be one or the two. Um, and I, I honestly can't tell you which one it is. But you've seen how many times we've gotten this tackle, right? I pinch the line. Same tackle. Oh, man. I, you know what? I didn't want to break this down further. I got more plays, but I'm not going to break them down. Man. I'm going to go into conclusion right now. So in closing, man, I, you know, I feel like I drilled this into the ground about the game being scripted, but I don't think I could have proved my points any better than I did right there. That's a small sample size. I didn't have to play the game for more than a few minutes to run into those issues. So this generation, man, Let's, let's bang one out for the generation so we could say it wasn't a complete failure. Man, 13, man, if this is not it, if this is not the game, this generation has been a complete waste of time for football gamer fans, period. This generation have, would have been just a complete waste. Uh, 2K8, all pro football 2K8 gave us a little bright spot, but it's not really what we needed as NFL fans. Um, whether you like it or not, it, it just wasn't. We, I mean... We love it. A lot of people love football, but a lot of people love the NFL. Let's keep it real. Um, so that's it, man. Give me dynamic gameplay. I don't, you know, I know the game's out. It's been seen. It's been played. And it might be dynamic. Who knows? I'm not going to say it's not. Don't think it'll have a full, you know, physics engine. I, I, I highly doubt that. Um, but hopefully they've figured out something. You know, I hear good things, but we will we will see uh, in the coming months ah, more Madden coverage. Man, I'm going to be all over this Madden, uh, Madden 13. I'll get it to you guys another time. Peace.